cramp, cramp. God, no. Let me back up. I was afraid of that. What'd you hit? I hit that pole. Crap. Hung on the pole. Well, if it ain't one thing, it's another. A beautiful campground here, right on the water. Absolutely beautiful. And when you come in, you have to drive by this little house down here. And it's got two little poles on each side that are about two feet high. And when you don't pay attention and you're trying to look at this beautiful, absolutely beautiful campground, they got a big, just absolutely beautiful. You run into things with your RV. Yep, I did it again. This is what happens when you don't pay attention. You run over the little thing, yellow pole, and uh, you do major damage to all three of your doors. Now, thank God that it didn't get the wheel back here where we can't drive it, but instead it just got the doors. All three of these doors are damaged and have to be replaced through insurance. Probably make the insurance go up and uh so uh that's what you do you got to pay attention all the time all the time this is really disgusting to me it makes me you know honestly i said you know what maybe i'm just getting too old to drive this thing it just really aggravating it really is aggravating oh man well we got a space at this campground after that stressful event and we decided to stay the night here one night before we moved to the uh, Piney uh, campground about uh, 45 minutes away where we were going to meet our friends. The campground was absolutely beautiful and because we are uh, we do have a senior pass for the national parks uh, it only cost us $12 at this campground with full hookups so uh, very beautiful very beautiful night but man what a very stressful afternoon all i can tell you is anytime you drive a vehicle that weighs about forty thousand pounds you make sure that you keep your head on the swivel as they say when you're going through places that have these little small poles next to uh buildings when you come into state parks when you're around gas pumps when you're parking there's always these real short poles and usually medina is outside watching on me but uh, we were confused at the time about uh, if, if the uh, rv next to the building was the camp host and uh, we thought that the campground uh, host would be open still so we were a little confused i was trying to read the uh notes on the window of the small building and it just got too close to those uh posts now each one of those doors i was wrong about it each one of these doors will probably run around 450 dollars according to the latest body shop uh, that i talked to and uh we have a pretty large deductible on our our insurance and i'm just hoping the insurance does not go up in price it just you know it's, it just seems like it's always something but just remember pay close attention and uh, if you're going to be moving around large uh, cars or objects this it always helps to have somebody out there as a spotter hope you enjoy the video please if you would please subscribe and uh, leave us a comment we sure would appreciate it thank you and have a great day